In this video, we'll see about laws of algebra over set. So, what are the laws we have? We'll see. So, the first one is item potent law. I'll write down the laws after that. Then, commutative law. You know the names already, but how to represent it depending on the topic that is our task so i told you the same thing in the last class also that laws of algebra but again in term of set how it is happening the same thing we'll see and somehow i'll show you using the venn diagram also So first is item potent law, then commutative law, associative law, distributive law, and the most important is De Morgan's law. So we'll see what are the laws. Item potent laws is we'll take all the law depending over um, union and intersection both. Like how we have taken for uh, addition and multiplication the same way. So A union A will be A. Because two same element if you are doing any operation you will get the same result. Then commutative law if uh, two different sets are there. Um, like sorry. Union also either way it is same. And uh, intersection also either way it is same. Okay. Then associative law is A union B union C will be a union B union C and A intersection B intersection C will be A intersection B and A intersection C. Now distributive law if you are taking then it will be uh, let's say A intersection B union C so it will be A intersection B first to union A intersection C. The same way if you are taking A union B intersection C then it will be A union B intersection a union C. Okay. Then comes to the De Morgan's law that is very important. Uh, De Morgan's law is if you are writing, if you have taken A union B whole complement, then it will be A complement intersection B complement. So, whatever the operation you are taking, uh, reverse of that or complement of that you have to take, then this one. Okay. So, we'll see the Venn diagram for De Morgan's law because for other it is very easy. Uh, for Mainly for De Morgan's law, we'll see. So, for this is what? A union B, right? This is A union B. So, complement of A union B will be what? This particular part, whatever shaded in this blue color, this will be A union B complement, right? If you are taking in other way, how can you show that? If this is A, what is A complement? The outside one. And if this is B, what is B complement? The outside one. So, if you consider A, then everything outside A will be A complement. And if you consider B, everything outside B will be B complement. So, A complement and B complement elements will be same. So, when you do the intersection operation between them, it will be obviously same, right? So, the shaded part will be A complement intersection B complement the same way you can do for uh, the other one also in the reverse way then I'll tell you oh, one more thing that associative law uh, it is very easy we'll see if we have three set that is A B and C okay so it is asking that A union B union C if this is within this one so this whole thing is what? A union B union C, 
this is a union b union c so it doesn't matter whether you keep the bracket in between the first two place or in between the last two place because anyway you are going to do the union of all three so it doesn't matter where you are keeping the bracket so this is the associative law the same way you can do for distributive also one intersection the other two like if like this is one set this is one set and this is another set so it is asking that a intersection b union c so a intersection b union c what is the common part this one right like if this is b this is c this is a this is b union c okay and the result should be intersect with a so what is the common part this one so this particular part is a intersection b union c the same way you have to do for all the types.